everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. And today I wanted to talk about having the right attitude in reference to trading. So a lot of people, when they investigate day trading, get really excited about the idea of one, working from home and being self-sufficient and independent, which is um, an exciting idea. And the other thing that people get excited about is the dream of making a lot of money. Now, while that dream is realistic, you have to put it in perspective as far as when it will take you, how long it will take you to achieve that dream of one, working from home and becoming self-sufficient and two, making a lot of money in the market. If you are practical about it, if you are serious about trading, if you are committed to actually doing it like you work for yourself, like a real business, not some fly-by-night thing you do on the side, not gambling, if you really take it seriously, I believe that you can become successful doing this with the right strategy. So I created my own strategy over a course of three years. Well, at the beginning, when I first started, I took one class and I thought I was going to be able to do it without knowing a lot of information. And unfortunately, the class that I took, while it was a good foundation of technical analysis, did not teach me a strategy to make money in the market. And that's the most important thing. You can learn tons of different strategies, but if they are not consistently profitable, you're not gonna make money, and that's the whole point of doing this. You can't have something where you make money some days, lose other days, and overall, you're down. You have to be consistently profitable. And it also helps, I think, um, if you start out with a set amount of money and then grow your account. In other words, if you can work another job while you're trading on the side, you can keep all the money you make from the market in that account and grow it and then risk more as the account grows and also as your knowledge grows. So if you're committed to doing this for the long haul, serious about doing it, you will learn what to do. You will take your time. You will size yourself correctly. You will not gamble. You will not overtrade. You will not take pot shots at different things. I never go long and short the same stock on the same day. I have one directional bias that I look at something. I look at the gaps in one specific way. I have only one strategy I do, whether it's options or day trades or swing trades or any trade that I do. It's the same way I look at the market as well. I'm very committed to the way I look at charts. I'm very committed to my strategy. And when I choose to risk money in a trade, uh, whether it's a day trade or an option, I'm committed to that trade and that viewpoint, that vantage point, that bias, the way that I'm looking at that specific stock when I take the trade. I'm committed in the amount of money that I put in the trade itself. I don't kill it too early. I don't uh, go back and forth about it willy-nilly. So many people that attempt to trade the market are non-committal. If you are non-committal to your success, guess what? You will not be successful. You will fail. I, if people ask me what to do as far as how to proceed with this, how to get started, I say the most important thing that you need to do is to ask yourself honestly how committed you are to doing it and then only do it if you are in fact committed. That means putting everything you've got into it. It doesn't mean 24-7, uh, you know, and losing uh, all the time that you have in your life and everything you build up with your family and your friends and your job and just ignoring every single person in your life and uh, losing all your friends while you're focused on this training thing. It means setting aside with a level of commitment one hour a day or two hours a day or an entire weekend if you take a class like mine, for example, where you are committed to learning it and doing it and then you're taking the amount of money that you can afford, opening up a trading account and risking a small amount until you get good and then growing that amount. And the most important thing really is learning. I think a lot of people just want to you know, crash and burn in the market. They want to train, they want to make money, they don't know what they're doing, they watch free videos online, they think they're going to learn how to do it that way. Sometimes they have trades that are successful, but ultimately then they take more trades that lose than win. And again, the idea is to take the amount of money that you have, whatever that amount is, if it's a small amount, a medium amount, a big amount, and grow it substantially so you can get to the point where you feel confident that you know what you're doing, that you could do this for a living, that you could do this for a long time, uh, and the only way you get to that point is by being consistent, consistently profitable. One of the things is I've been trading now for a long time, or it feels like a long time. Um, and so I've gotten really, really good at what I do because I only do one strategy. And sometimes I can see things that other people can't see as far as market direction or where the stock's going to go next. And really, that is, that's just my uh, experience. Um, it's maturity and experience through the 
uh, way that I read the charts and the way that I read the gaps really that has helped me see those things into the future when I'm predicting where stock or the market direction is going to go. So take it seriously. You've got to have the right attitude. You've got to be committed to doing it. Don't be a fly-by-nighter. Even if you risk a small amount of money in the market, you will lose it over and over and over again. It will add up to be a lot if you don't take it seriously. If you're not ready to take it seriously, that's fine. Wait. Wait until the time in your life that you are. But if you are ready to take it seriously, this is a good time to trade. Next week, earnings season starts. It's fall 2020. The market is expected to be volatile. In my opinion, I think the month of October is going to be crazy volatility going up into the election. So I think it's going to mean big profits for people that know what they're doing that are getting my trade calls. If you'd like more information or want to sign up for the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.